Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to our Final Fantasy Vivex's video, and we've got some news in this latest JP live stream. So we have I knew I knew it was gonna either be three or twelve or for Bra or Bravexius, and it seemed to be twelve. So we got twelve here with New Vision Bolt uh both here, and he is a Brave Shift unit, which is surprising. Surprising in a good way, of course. Surprising in a good way, and, and you might be surprised that there's even more surprises in, tw in store for us. So, his TMR is the same as pretty much everybody's been getting, but it's not a bad thing because, in the long run, if they make more 12 units that are top tier, uh, or 12, 12, yeah, 12 units, then this is a very good TMR because 500 flat attack and 50% all killers. Keep in mind, though, Espers give a lot as well, so that helps out a lot. This is quite good. In the close, physical DPS only. Why? Why is the HP that way? Uh, maybe that's a reference to something in the game. Let me know in the comments section down below if that's a reference. So nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine HP, one hundred twenty attack. Uh, don't be too surprised. I think they're gonna start, you know, raising the attack bar because the last banner with the two CG units. Remember those two units, uh, the FFB ones. They had high attack on theirs. And you might be thinking, hey, on Global, we have we have cow equipment and stuff, but on the JB version, this is quite new because the highest attack before the last banner was Sephiroth's uh, um, clothes or whatever they were. So, so for physical DPS only, usually you only have this on a physical DPS. 50% low burst damage and 120 attack. And of course, at the end, only for both here. Neo Vision Awaken and himself, the Thunder Fly attack. Good. Uh, maybe they'll rework the Neo Vision Awaken version. I don't know if they will or not. In his base form, uh, Water in Peril. So it's going to be a Water DPS. Okay, that's fine. Six turn cooldown. Yeah, the Gun in Peril, 30%. That one, I don't know if that's going to be as special. Because we already have Gun Imperials on Global version, so... On the JP version, it's kind of special because there's not really... All, I mean, we don't really use guns that much on the JP version anyways. It's such a strange contrast. On Global, we use guns all the time. On the JP version, we almost never use guns. So this will be interesting, at least. The LB mods go up by 180 times. 360 times mod, that's quite good. And the Brave Shift form, he has a non-elemental. Not an elemental, good. Uh, quite powerful in that, but... Oh, uh, they're gonna start doing this again. Like what they did with the Fist Lady in the last banner. If, if basically, if you're not fading, fighting... Hopefully, this is not the case. Hopefully, when we get into the data mine and everything, hopefully this will be a little bit better, because... Basically, if this is two, two races on one LB, basically, if you're not fighting either of those races... You wouldn't bring them in the first place, but you would do only one times damage, which is worthless. So that's what that's the problem with these things. I mean, if you are facing something with those races, then it'll be really powerful. But it's such a weird combination. Like you're, I don't know what you're supposed to do about that. He has a spear in peril. I guess he's wielding a spear and a sprite in the in the in the brave shift form. But what? Now he's a spear in peril. I mean, we don't really need spear in perils anymore. We have Kane. And we have uh, Edgar, and we have other, I think, some other units as well. And Global has some Spear and Perils on Sky. I'm not really sure about that, but the Vision card is always the same, pretty much. If they're not premium, it's pretty much always going to be this way 25% LB damage, you know, attack, and then 500 flat attack. And Ash is getting a Magic Tank form and a healer, so support, healer, and Brave Shift form. So. Will she break the game this time? Let's find out. <laughs> an, old, an old meme. Um, this is quite good though. It's, it's the same as the, the same as both ears, except you could say more like along the lines of this is the same as for Noah's, except it's for Final Fantasy XII only and 500 flat magic and 50% all killers. Very good. You definitely stock up. If you pull multiples of these characters, I would stock up on a lot of other TMRs because it's worth equipping more than... And, actually, no, never mind. You can't. Can't stack them. I wish that I wish that you could. Can't stack them. 
but it would still be nice to get multiples of them in case, in case you're running more than one 12 unit. So that's still r r reasonable. STMR accessory, female only, 90 magic, 80 spirit, 30% MP reduction, and also 500 flat magic for ash variants. So not really big power creep yet for magic accessories because only females can equip it. And currently, I mean, Pwn like that. Poppy, Poppy would like that. Uh, that'd be top tier for Poppy just for because of the uh, high magic on it. So that would be something. I mean, I'm sure people who are gonna be pulling this banner are gonna pull two of them on Poppy if they're if they're running Poppy because she's the strongest magic damage dealer. That's a, that's uh, a female. And base LB single target mage mason peril. We already have another mason peril. We had already what? Oh come on! I just got a Charlotte. Charlotte has a mason a mason peril. Okay, so we have a Mason Peril, physical, 150 times down, elemental, 80% attack and magic break, 70% general mitigation, and it's the same, pretty much the same stuff as usual. Cool, sec, two turn cooldown, single target, 250% spirit and stone killer, what? Is that only for herself? I mean, it says single target, so that'd be insane. AB re-raise on the L BSLB, 350% stat buff, 250% low first damage buff, 150% machine and stone, machine spirit and stone killer. That's a really good LB. The re-raise, uh, it's fine, I guess, but the buff, yes, very nice. 250% stone, machine killer buff. That's insane. I don't know what in 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 Haraja is. I don't know what that is, but it unlocks it for some reason. And the vision card is kind of okay, I guess. I mean, spirit tr true shield build, fine. It's really good for her. That's pretty much it. That's really good. It's really good for her. And surprisingly, I don't. Let me know in the comment section down below if this is the one you would pick. Fran as the Neo Vision Awakened instead of uh, Bosch or Vaughn. For example, that would have been pretty amazing. Va Neo Vision Awakened Vaughn. Fran. Okay. I'm not really un I'm not really sold with it, but whatever. The SLB all dispel enemy and ally. Four hundred times mod to a specific ability of all allies. One hundred fifty times LB mod up for herself. Eight hundred times mod fire magic something on a cooldown. I'm sure it's a finisher and on a cooldown. Single target LB mods up for New Vision Ball here. They've been doing this recently with uh, the robot tank and the story and giving uh, Tyvus LB mods up. So they're probably going to start doing this for a lot of other units. Got a helmet. 1000 HP. That's not too bad. 25% uh, beast killer. That's kind of bad. But you can combine that with the accessories from Vision World. To have 50% killers at least. Is that something? If you played Vision World back then. Clothes, whatever. And the bow. STMR gets upgraded to 50% beast and beard killer. 190 attack and magic. That's okay. The usual uh, 3k lapis quest. And that's a site rerun. Oh, you guys are going to be excited for that. So. I know it's far into the future. I know it's very far into the future, but finally you will be able to get another, another nuts of sight. Finally, and this is the it says a rerun, so it should be one shotted. I'm pretty sure. This this event was extremely old. This ex event is like what, like four or five years old. Maybe maybe not that old, but it's pretty old. And the Chronicle Battle, Balthier's gun gets upgraded to 270 attack, 100% beast killer. 100% beast killer. That's insane. So if you have that in valued memories, that's already 200% killers if they don't have any. That's crazy. I'm not, I wonder if that's only for him, but I hopefully not. 100% physical TDH. Wow. Well, it says only both are only 750 flat attack and 50% LB damage for him. Wow. That's got to be one of the best upgrades of all time. Yes, it's on a gun, unfortunately, but Global will like that a lot. Wow. That is a very good upgrade. 
That's insane. That's really insane. And then close. 55 attack. Decent. Great sword wield. Increase some some stat buffs. And for Final Fantasy 12, only use 50% human killer. That's alright. That's decent. Uh, five pulls daily, whatever. And there's a UI update. So this is how the UI is going to look. I don't know. What will, will something happen if I click on this? Yeah. So it's kind of hard to see. It's very blurry, but uh, they, they basically redrew the UI. I don't... I don't understand why they're doing this. Why are they wasting time with this? I don't get it. It looks nice. It looks nice. It looks a lot nicer because uh, it's a little blurry on the screen. Apologize for that, but it's nice. But is this going to draw people back into the game? No. It just looks nice. But like... Instead of doing this, how about the New Vision coin shop that you promised at the very beginning of the game? Of the beginning of the Neo Vision era, sorry about that. At the beginning of the Neo Vision era, they said there was going to be a Neo Vision coin shop. You know, like the trust coins, but you could trade in Neo Visions instead. There's a, at this point on the GB version, we have a lot of spare rains, clouds, errors, all etc. laying around. So what are we supposed to do with those? Eventually you'll have more than enough red pearls, so you can't say, oh, there's all red pearls. Okay, the red pearls, now what? So... Where is that New Vision coin shop? At this point, it should definitely be in the game because we got to start getting more value out of these older New Visions that are just no longer useful. So as as nice as this is, uh, I'd like to see more. Vision that vision card that is selected in main menu will be able to play background music that is tied to the VC. Okay. And it's not even going to be available until March, apparently, so... And then there's a 5k lapis presence. That's okay. So, oh, did you, I don't know if I showed you. There it is. So 5,000 lapis present. That's okay. What do you guys think in the comment section down below? Fran as the new vision awakened. A little disappointing. I was hoping for Vaughn, in my opinion. I think because he would have been pretty good. But maybe some, maybe someday, maybe someday he'll get a new vision awakened. There's still the raid. It could be a 12 raid. Or Brave Exodus Raid, I don't know. Anyways, guys, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.